I'm Biz. I'm Justin. This is a Busy Crow Show. And today we are gonna be doing soups. I'm gonna do mine first. Um, this is such an easy soup. This is what I like to call a dump soup because, oh, look, I'm so popular. <laughs> Let me turn off my notifications. So sorry. Um, because I like cutting up fruit or uh, vegetables, but if you don't, you can always buy the stuff um, are pre-cut in your store, even Walmart has it now. Justin just told me never thought to look for um, cubed butternut squash in the frozen mm -hmm. section. You can do that. Um, I don't use the peel on the butternut squash, so you just cut it in half. Mr. Muscles did it for me because I was like, a eh, little bit. I have put it in the microwave. <laughs> I like how you did it too because you like <laughs> tried cutting it and then you just and stepped I, back. I did. I was like, I just walked away. I didn't away. say anything. Just like I left. I legit. Right. I left the the knife like this and then I just stepped back. And he just came in and did it for me. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate that. And then you can just scoop the seeds out. I have put this in the microwave for two to three minutes to make it a little bit easier to do. Um, but this is gonna be so easy. We'll have the recipe link mm -hmm. uh, instructions down below. But this is just um, half of a butternut squash, carrots, and uh, sweet potato diced. You're gonna need like six cups of that in any, any which way form. Then we've got three cloves of garlic. Super easy. But you got the pre-minced. I did pre-minced because yep. why not? I'm not about yeah. that life. Um, and then poultry seasoning is um, a great. I use it in soups all the time. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of gives it a meaty taste, even yeah. though there's obviously yeah. Quite a bit. So basically, it's just thyme, sage, marjoram, rosemary, black pepper, and nutmeg. And mm -hmm. then I also have um, a little bit of Vietnamese cinnamon. Um, it's got a nice warmth to it, mm -hmm. and you won't know it's there, but it's like you feel it. Um, and then we decided to use Dax um, pumpkin spice mix in here as well. And then I like it spicy, so yeah. does Justin. I like spice. Um, this is just chi uh, canned uh, chilies and adobo sauce. I add two. You can always add more. You can always add less. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the jalapenos. The seeds are where the spice is. So you can even just use the sauce. Yeah, in it, it too. comes a lot of sauce in here too. So mm -hmm. that's kind of nice. Um, if you want to dump that in, that's a cup of or a can of light coconut milk. Yep. And that's just gonna give it like oh. such a creamy, <laughs> creamy flavor. Don't mind me, Mr. Professional. Yeah, we're so professional at the Busy Crow Show. Yeah. Um, and then this is just a 32 ounce thing of uh, vegetable stock. If I was doing this at home, I would use chicken stock or beef yep. stock, but that's just me. But we're all vegan today. Yeah. Um, that's it. Now we're gonna let this cook for about 20-25 um, minutes till it, it's just everything soft and then use an immersion blender mm -hmm. and you got yourself a delicious soup. Like so good. And it just screams fall. Mm -hmm. I mean it's just, I mean I can smell it already. It smells oh, good. Oh yeah. So. Yeah just that like little bit of yeah. the pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice yes. in there. And there is um, salt in here so I'm not gonna salt it and taste it and add any more seasoning mm -hmm. until it's already cooked. Um, adjust the seasoning that way. I might even add some more chipotle pepper if yeah. I don't think it's spicy enough. But I do like the butternut squash. I like having a spicy counterpoint mm -hmm. to that so it's not just like sweet, unsweet, unsweet. Yep. Um, but the coconut milk is gonna make it creamy mm -hmm. and uh, delicious, so. Yeah. And no uh, no onion. No onion in this, this recipe. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. His is gonna have like probably <laughs> five, five cups. <laughs> Lot of but that's okay. It's gonna be cooked down. I'll, I'll I'll eat it. I will. So it's just. But yes, this you can. Almost everyone who makes my recipes adds onions to it. So I'm not offended by that at all. You do you. I'll do me. No onions in this one. <laughs> now we're just gonna put this on, and yep. that's it. In action. <laughs> Go. I'm so, gonna leave that in. <laughs> yeah, I hope you do. So this is cooked for. Oh my gosh! Look at the dramatics. Oh, look at that. So it's only cooked for 25 minutes and it's already done. Mm -hmm. um, set it, forget it. So we are going to use a stick blender to make it smooth. Yeah. And this Pat is one of those like thinking about the holidays. Yes. You know, or birthdays or anything. Like you can get these for 20 oh, bucks. Yeah. 20 yeah. Bucks. Bed Bath & Beyond. Use that 20% mm -hmm. get coupon yeah. you get everywhere in, in your inbox. And these like, this is one of those kitchen things you think like, oh, I'll never use it. You will use it all, all the, time. the time. Yeah, because if you were to put this in your blender, it splatters. When you have to do like yourself. multiple rounds yeah. of blending. Right, it's, it's a pain this. in the ass. So just and put like, this on your Christmas list. Yeah, it comes off. This Easy to clean. Dishwasher, I have the like same exact one. I've had it for probably 10 years and it yeah. works just fine. Yeah, I think this is probably 10, 11 years old. Yeah. So. And it's still... Love it. I I'll bring it over the biscuits while I'm doing that. <laughs> This is a 
good like rep. I think I maybe I need a new one. It just sounds like it's in pain. It's not the soup. It's I, yeah. I like I seriously use this thing. Oh, all, actually, all I was gonna time. taste. So the I use like um. See if it needs salt. I yeah. probably will need salt. But I use my immersion blender for like applesauce quite a bit. Um, making apple butter in the crock pot. Mm -hmm. Use this to puree it in there. Yeah, like Ooh, that so, pepper. so many different sauces. You don't taste it at the very beginning and it just kind of sneaks up on you. So good, but yes, this does need a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. That should be good. And uh, for you WW peeps, um, the light coconut milk is really the only thing that you have to count in this. Uh, can't remember how many points that is, but it's hardly anything. Yeah, so. and I mean, eating this like standalone, like just the soup itself, I mean, looking at it, it's probably eight servings. Oh, six, easily, eight servings yeah, uh-huh. Of like good hearty, because you got it's like, it's made out of butternut squash, carrots, sweet potatoes. Sweet potato. potatoes. It's really, really filling. Yeah, So absolutely. And these are our, uh, we'll put the video link up to our cheddar uh, jalapeno mm -hmm. vegan biscuits. They turned out amazing. Yeah, I guess we should probably do like an ending to that video. Because right now it's just like, and these go in the oven. Oh, that's true. Okay, yeah, we're learning about. as we go. Yeah, we'll, so. we'll, we'll just add it, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at it, I'm like, oh, those look really pretty. But we never, <laughs> we never finished, finished talking the about video. them. This is too funny. All right, well, let's give it a taste. Cheers. All right. <laughs> Soup cheers. Mmm. That is really good. Isn't it? It's so simple. Yeah. And you get like a little hint of the cinnamon, even mm -hmm. the pumpkin pie spice. Yeah. None of it's bit. overwhelming. No. Nope. Yeah, none of it is. And I think the two chipotle peppers was perfect yeah. amount for this amount of soup because I don't I don't like it like burning hot. I want it to be yeah. flavorful spicy, not knock my socks off spicy. Yeah. Where you're like sitting there sweating. Yeah. Like, oh, this but is then so you hot. have the sweetness of the butternut squash and the sweet yeah. potatoes is a nice uh, juxtaposition. Ooh, good word. Ooh, thank you. Um, it just it's really balanced, don't you think? Yeah. Like? No, this all it goes together really well. Mm. Like you don't taste any of the flavors by themselves. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes you do like a cinnamon in a soup and you're like, mm, mm, that's all I taste. A lot of cinnamon or yeah. Like oh, the pumpkin pie just tastes like you're eating a pumpkin pie, but this is. Yeah, everything balances out, goes well together. He, he likes my soup. Nice job. Thank you. You are, you are the vegan queen I, of the day. Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, it's nice and creamy. You could, I mean, I didn't blend it down all the way. No, and it, there's um, a couple chunks in here. I, I like that. Yeah, I like that too. I mean, I want to know that I'm eating something yeah. other than just a liquid. And it'll be perfect. Should we dunk a little? Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll split a biscuit with you. Yeah. Um, this is made with Earth Balance. It is made with... Um, Vegan cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. Yep, the Via Life vegan cheddar. Should probably try it by itself first. Mm -hmm. I, we're yeah, we're just we're, like we're digging learning. in. We're learning. Like I'm just hungry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Yeah. I was like trying to like get all the different flavors of the biscuit. Because we shredded jalapeno in here, so mm -hmm. this also has a little bit of kick to it. Yeah. No, it's a good like a good amount of jalapeno. Like it's not. Could it be a little bit salty, saltier? Or Maybe is it... a little bit. Uh, I don't know. I think it's actually no, pretty, not. pretty good by itself. But yeah, perfect to dip in this fall soup. Look at us. Yeah, and this is also great for meal planning. If you're doing it for mm -hmm. um, the week, take soup for lunch, take a couple biscuits. You could also, um, well, an egg bit of breakfast. Mm -hmm. You could make a, a breakfast sandwich out of these. Or tofu. Or tofu, tofu one, yeah. You know. um, so many possibilities, but like the that le legit took like five minutes to make. Yeah, it was super um, simple. And good. these these would freeze really well. Oh yeah. The soup freezes really well. Yeah, you, you could put do it, it in like, like the like the tall wide mouth uh, ball canning mm -hmm. jars. Yep. Um, th that will freeze well. Never the small mouth regular yeah. for freezing. Yeah. Yeah. Blow the top off. Of and it. actually, I almost always use the black bags for soups because then oh. I could lay them flat. Oh yeah. So and I could store more in the. Yeah. Know, that's just yeah. me. I also never learning. freeze soup. Okay. I just know you can. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to know. It's possible. Yes. It's possible. So this soup is a winner. So uh, I hope you guys make it. Be sure you to, can win. Be sure to tag us when you do. Mm -hmm. Love it. Um, and if you like this video, subscribe down below. 
you go. Give us a thumbs up. Um, comment, there's a comment. Share it. Share it. Throw we love all the, all the things. All yeah. the things.